And Dusty McLemore still with us. That with us basically every Wednesday from now on. Now, Lindsay Lane, how long have you been, Lindsay Lane? 20, 22 years this 22 month. 22 years. Well, we talked about this yesterday, and like I said, a lot of people at church didn't even know you had a book out. It's available right. now, Gambling with Eternity, The Loser Wins. Did you come up with that title? That's a great name. You, no, I didn't. Uh, I, did, I had rock bottom. And then we found out 1,600 others <laughs> had rock bottom in their title, so we wanted something they could go to. Uh, All right, you know, so to how long did you want to write a book, Dusty? I've been wanting to write a book for a long time. I really have. It's just, uh, it's, you know, something gets in, you just want to write about it and all that. So I, I just kept putting it off, and then Brian encouraged me and challenged me to, to do it. He helped me with it. He came and met with me, and so he challenged me and got me over the hump. Man, you know, I don't know if I ought to hang out with you or not after reading the first part of this. Man, <laughs> you was a bad dude. It's not all in there either, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it just shows you the grace of God. It really does, you know. And that's what I really wanted to write and get, let people know that no matter what you've been through or you know in your what life and all of that, God's good. God forgives. God will heal you, and He did me. Put my life back together. So when uh, and you share your testimony, I mean you make reference to it basically every Sunday. Yeah. You know, that uh, fateful day in uh, October. October, yeah. October, a Monday night football game. Right. And then when you come through here and and, and then you, you go to a little bit more in depth to it. Yeah. So you, your deal was gambling. Right. And you were going to double up and win. I guess that's everybody's mindset. I'm going to yeah. win the next time. Win it back. Yeah. You know, when, when you lost. you don't. Right. When you don't, it's just, you, you always just think you can. Yeah, it's in your mindset that I've done it before and I had. I've I've lost thousand dollars in on during the week and won it back on the weekend. So I said I'll just do it again and then call no up. Problem, you no say problem. you got so bad you were betting on uh, boxing and horse racing. Right. But you were a uh, you were really a professional at. <laughs> no, I didn't know anything about boxing and uh, e even horse racing. Remember Aladar and uh, Affirm? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I bet on me on that race they had. That was the one I bet on. I, I bet 200 I remember I bet $200 and I won 20 So what kind of deal is that? <laughs> but it didn't stop. You. No, it didn't stop me. Now, literally, when I mean, I hope many of you have had that moment where you just, you're talking to God and you can just feel a peace about yourself and you know that's right. just been working. But did you ever, after that moment happened for you, you just instantly never wanted to gamble again? Yeah, it, gradually, you know, it, God really delivered me that night from a lot of addictions that I had, a lot of bad Not habits. Just gambling. But, you know, no, I really didn't have that desire like I had before. It was you really know, that time it, to like change. Like you said, it was just that peace. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even know, I didn't even know life apart from gambling at yeah. that time. And then to experience that forgiveness and know there's another life I could live, it was awesome. You were lucky to have Patsy. I was. Very fortunate <laughs> to have a wife that uh -huh. well, didn't leave me. Yeah. After reading this book, I mean, I look at her a little different. She was a little hellion herself. Oh, yeah. She was. I've been trying <laughs> to tell you all. <laughs> well, I've been trying to tell you all that. Yeah. No, well, no she, uh, she really tolerated a lot. And, uh, and it was by the grace of God. You know, she gave her life to Christ first. And I saw that change in her and that peace in her. And I wanted that. And I needed Haley it. Haley helped she that would, moment with her, for her. Yeah, Haley did. Haley was like four, four and a half. And then uh, that's, Haley was really the catalyst that got Baby it all that. going. Patsy really was that done. adamant about continuing Church of Christ and not going to Round Island Baptist. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She didn't even see me get baptized. So uh, wow. she wasn't going to step foot in the Baptist Church and all that. And there's another, another book, you know, but God really put all the pieces all right. back together. I've got to ask you about this quote from your mentor, Johnny Hunt, who, who writes the forward in here. Right. And I, I, I believe this line, and you know which one I'm going to say. If you don't see it before you see it, you'll never see it. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's a good vision statement, and he, I got that from him. You know, he's used that. He got it from somebody else. But it's, uh, you know, it, when you're looking at vision, like, just like you've had for the studio, you've seen it before it actually happened. And so that's the visionary has to see it before it actually happens. Now, like I said yesterday when I sent mm. you that text, you are a master at putting those swing sets together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even want to go there. Boy, those, I'm, I'm one of those guys that don't read directions. Yeah, me either. I hate to read the directions, and I was trying to put one together, and... Of course, I was out cussing, throwing parts, and I was having a fit. I was assembly having a little moments. Assembly required means me at our house. Yeah. <laughs> Any time it says some assembly required, 
He'll ask me if I'm going to do it. I don't do nothing. She I mean, put everything together. Yeah, you got to have an engineering degree to put a swing set together. Like the books, you can get them at the church. Get them at the church. We have them in stock there at the church. Also, Amazon.com. You can go on and order them, or you can download, download it to Kindle. Mm -hmm. If you like to read on Kindle, you can go on and, and get it and download it for that as well. It's worth it. I do have to ask you, when did you move out of your trailer? <laughs> 19, uh, oh, yeah, 1980. Four. We built our first house in 1984. You didn't mention the can of soup, the can of beans you threw no, in the I, door. No, I, I left a lot out. <laughs> I was noticing the similarities here. I, too, was a Joe Namath fan. I, too, wore white shoes. Right. My number was 13 instead of 12. Yeah. I wasn't a quarterback. And uh, Don't you know, tell everything from I mean, when I went to Boaz, can. that was my faraway land, as Calhoun yeah. was in yours. Right. All right, but you can get the book down there. It's a great book, and Brian did a good job with you on that, too. Well, uh, I want to talk to you about... Lindsay Lane's Easter Sunday service coming up next weekend. Right, next weekend we're in two services, 8.30 and 10.30. You know, just come casual, bring somebody with you, and we're going to have a good time at the, in church worshiping, but we're also going to talk about the cross and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so come celebrate Easter with us in the right way. And that's, I mean, that, is that usually the biggest day at Lindsay Lane? Oh, yes, in any church more than likely. Yeah, I know it's across the week around 15 that yeah. day, but... Uh, we all doing a great job down there, and you've had your uh, vision here, and you've explained a lot about being the leader of a church, and I didn't know that. I didn't know because I'm just learning all this to stuff. To me, reading uh, Patsy's testimony in there, really probably a lot of women can relate on how when you first get married and how you wind up treating your husbands rather than God. Yeah, that's You know, right. and the other that's funny thing about that, when I was in 12th grade, I dated a ninth grade, and everybody says, oh, man, you're robbing the cradle. <laughs> I wasn't the only one. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right. I did. I did. Got to get them young. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't advocate that, by the way. I was very impressed, Dustin. Very impressed. Well, thank very you. Fun. Thank you so much. God Enjoyed just really reading it. helped us with that, and I just appreciate you guys' support, too. And all get the guys. book. Yeah, get Amazon. the book. And we'll be talking more about it, too. But anyway, thank you, Dusty. And I'm sure we'll, I'll see you riding a bicycle here in another day or two. Oh, yeah. We're going to get out. Coming up tomorrow, Killer Bees will join us. Yeah. And Joseph, the Mustang man, will be cruising. Y'all <laughs> tune in for that. And Zach will be with us for the full hour. we got to go for now. Y'all go by and visit Herbs and more. Tell Roy we sent you down there. Get the good book here, too. We'll see y'all. Bye. Bye. Go to love me.